ladies and gentlemen, how are you? I have a very special video for you today. If you've watched the most recent episode of Ranwen Park, which I hope you are, you'll know that we have a new vehicle in the fleet and it's right behind me, but it's not mine. It belongs to the girlfriend who is right here. need a ride? <laughs> I do need a ride. Because if you're still breathing, I'm leaving. Ah, jokes. <laughs> I need a ride because I rode here with you. That's true. But yes, this is the girlfriend. Nice to see you on this side of the road. Yes, come here often. <laughs> Not lately. A cemetery. <laughs> um, but yeah, here it is. It is a 1995 Toyota Crown wagon hearse. And we're going to take you on a little bit of a tour today uh, and let you know our plans with it. That's right, this is the uh, 1995 Toyota Crown van hearse conversion. As you noticed, Probably it is right-hand drive because it was imported from Japan. So this is not something we ever got in the US um, And it is pretty awesome uh, It's uh, In very good condition. We found it from somebody who imported it two years ago uh, Themselves so we skipped all of that business needing to deal with importers and all those rigmaroles um it has 127,000 kilometers mm -hmm. which is about 80,000 miles less than your daily driver oh. <laughs> um and uh it's pretty cool as you can see uh it's got the big fender mirrors uh the wheels are going to change the wheels are definitely going to change they are off of like a Toyota Avalon or something like that. The guy put them on. We have the originals, which are 14 inch steel rims uh, with really cool hubcaps that we would like to use. Uh, we just got to find some tires for them. Um, but as we come around the back here, I think we got to show you guys what you want to see. And if the girlfriend could do the honors. It very much is still a hearse on the inside. Honestly, a very nice one. Most of these that we saw on YouTube are just like straight up the wagons that have been converted. <laughs> and for ambiance, yes, mood lighting. Um, but this one has a whole situation with the lamp and the curtains. Uh, obviously, this is. Uh, the, the uh, casket clamp. I don't know, it, 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 there's a whole mechanical thing with switches right here uh, that moves the, to hold the, the you know, the box. The We're, casket rollers. The casket, I can't think yeah. of the word Cas casket. Casket rollers. Casket rollers. Electric casket rollers. Yeah. Normally they're manual. Ah. It's just roll, like manual rollers, but this one, mechanical. Mechanical, fancy. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it, it's very neat, but we're not going to leave it like this, are we? No, it's got bigger, better, more off-roady plans. More off-roady plans. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Kurt's talked about we've been looking for a small truck or a small SUV um, for camping and uses. So the goal was to find something that I could use as a camper and sleep in and what better than a hearse. Um, so the first things that we'll do, we're going to take out the casket roller mechanisms. We're going to toss that uh, DM curd if you want to buy it. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're going to take out this whole panel right here with all the electrical. Um, we're going to remove that. So we'll have this whole thing able to have a, uh, put a bed or a, um, what's it called? The, you know, 
a platform situation. Yeah. So we're gonna keep this whole piece in for storage. It's been already convenient to hide the uh, jumper cable situation. Um, and it is a third, it does have a third seat. So I don't wanna take that out. I wanna be able to utilize that. Um, but overall it's just for hopefully, you know, a couple night camping and get a uh, tent that hooks onto the back of it and molt just like redoing the tires, we are going to get some all-terrain tires for it and be able to go a little bit off-road. Not not like a Jeep, but like a hearse. Interestingly enough, uh, one of the... It's not a problem. It will be fixed when we remove all that stuff in the back, but this seat right now is as far back as it will go. And because of that, I am not completely able to drive it <laughs> so this is this is purely the girlfriend's car at the moment that is until we remove the stuff in the back um because this this is smaller for my knees than the old corolla was um but otherwise the interior is very nice <laughs> i'm looking forward to being able to drive it without my knees in my teeth eventually for you gearhead nerds out there who want to know uh, the engine is an inline six cylinder. It is the 1GFE engine. Uh, it makes about 135 horsepower, which is fine. It's not a fast car. Um, it is interesting in that the 1GFE is one half of the uh, Toyota Century's V12. So we can say that we have half of a Toyota Century's V12. Um, but otherwise, everything, uh, you know, in, in buying the car has, has so far been good. There was no leaks. Uh, all the fluids look fine. Um, that is something of a concern with a Japanese import car that we don't have here in the U.S. is that parts are a little bit hard to come by. And, uh, you know, little things like brake pads and brake shoes and... Uh, air filters and stuff require a lot of cross-referencing to different part numbers and equivalents and stuff. I think we'll be okay in that regard. Um, but otherwise, I don't think we really have to worry too much about the engine. Uh, it's a Toyota engine. They're known for being very, very reliable, um, albeit slightly underpowered for how heavy of a car it is required to push. <laughs> um, also, I suppose for some nerds out there, whenever you import a car, you gotta leave all the stickers on. So different registration stickers from Japan. I think on the other side uh, is the import sticker from the, which port it came from and, and whatnot. I don't know if we're going to be too stickler about those things, but uh, it's interesting. And uh, it's, it's just uh, a, a new adventure for us that will certainly be keeping you abreast of the different developments and how far we come along with going camping in what is definitely the most stylish camper that will be in all of the campgrounds. So, how is it like to drive a hearse? Well, I definitely can say it's not the first time I've driven a hearse. It's absolutely the first time I've driven a right-hand Toyota hearse. Um, what's interesting is that it does feel like I'm driving an American uh, Cadillac or a Lincoln hearse. It's very floaty. It feels very big, even though it's not. Um, so if you've ever driven a Cadillac, it's really got that same feel. It has pretty good, it's just very, very squishy, if that makes sense. Yes, the Toyota Crown is kind of a luxury vehicle meant for comfort and smooth cru cruising. And they didn't bring it to America because it was too heavy and slow for our brutish American tastes. Yeah, it's definitely slow. It's not like... Once you get it on the freeway, it does pick up speed. It's not... It has momentum. It does have momentum once it gets going. And it's, you know, it's heavy, but it handles really well. I'm I, I'm honestly really enjoying driving it. 
Um, but yeah, I just tend to tend to drive it a little bit slower. It's really fun to drive on the right. I'm, just gonna <laughs> lie, I'm not gonna lie, it's super fun. It's super weird for people. Super weird for bike uh, commuters. Cause they're not ready that I can reach them. <laughs> Steal their lunch money. Yeah. So. I am I am impressed. You very quickly adapted to the uh, turn signal stock being on the right hand side instead of the left hand side. Most people end up flicking the windshield wipers, but I think you've adapted very. You didn't do that once on the way here. No, my first day was really bad, and then I I haven't done it. I haven't done it anymore. So, um, I just feel like I've adapted to many vehicles in the last few weeks. That this one's kind of easy. <laughs> But I'm looking forward to camping with it. I'm looking forward to getting bigger, fatter tires and <laughs> getting my good hubcaps back. And I want those crown hubcaps. They are pretty good hubcaps. Yeah. We we might need some help from the peanut gallery as to what wheels and tires may or may not fit on a 95 Toyota Crown. Because surprisingly, when you put 1995 Toyota into tire rack or, or simple tire, they don't come back with the Toyota Crown unfortunately so we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants as far as what fits what but uh yeah i'm that, open to suggestions we're open to suggestions and eventually when we figure out the seat and the back stuff maybe i'll have a driving video for you and i will let you know what i think of the experience he's dying to get in here literally <laughs> and figuratively dying did you get that i got That's it a good dying joke. the death joke but, but seriously though it's killing you <laughs> it's it is killing me